So church family, with your eyes closed, heads bowed, I just want to ask, for you to answer inside, who's Jesus to you? Do you know that one time Jesus actually tells us who he is? He doesn't say, I'm me. He doesn't say, I'm angry. You know what he says? I'm gentle and lowly. You know what that means? I'm humble. You, you, I love the part where he says, I'm lowly. The Greek word there is, I'm accessible. And this morning, you know what that means? That the gate to salvation is accessible. That whosoever wants to come can come. And this morning, if you for the very first time want to answer the greatest question ever asked, who is Jesus? He's my Savior. He's my Lord. He's my everything. Because He won. I'm going to guide you in a prayer. There's no magical prayer in the Bible. Please know that. But the Bible does say, believe in your heart, confess with your mouth, you shall be saved. So I'm going to just guide you in a prayer. And if, if you've never invited Christ into your heart, to, to, you've never declared in your mind who Jesus is, even with this prayer, would you so do so? Father, thank you for loving me. Thank you for loving me so much that you sent your only son, Jesus, the Christ, the Messiah, your only son, to die for my sin, to pay my pardon. So, Father, I confess my sins to you this morning. I call on all of heaven to cleanse me, to save me, to forgive me. God, thank you for giving me the keys of salvation. God, help me to walk and to live as someone who's imitating you living for your name, for your glory. In Jesus' name we pray, amen.